Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend because I definitely had a wonderful weekend. Uh, this weekend approaching is Father's Day weekend. Here at the PPG store, we do have the Father's Day baskets. As you can see, pretty big baskets for $150. I'm going to do a quick rundown of what's in them because I got some important stuff that I got to get into. And one of the things we're going to talk about is fuck book. Yes, we're going to talk about fuck book. Dick Fest was this weekend. I'm going to get into that. And um, we're going to we're gonna get into it today. Because I learned a lot of stuff at this Dick Fest this weekend. So, in here it is the um, the half a woman, the temptation lady. It is the bull whip, the bondage tape, five different enhancers, uh, cock rings, uh, erection creams, deep throat and spray. All of this different stuff for your, um, uh, this would be for a certain type of father. The type of father that you might want to make a father again type of father. So, we do have the um, Father's Day baskets in. And we do have the matching lingerie to go with it. And what I love about this lingerie is the sides of it. It got some high splits on the side of it. So, I, have, I actually posted the picture of it. I'm modeling it. So I have a picture with me modeling it. Um, so let's get into this video this morning. Baby, this weekend was Dick Fest. So let me tell you about Dick Fest. This Dick Fest is a series of online classes and it talks about all different things. It talks about the history of the dick. It talks about cultures that worship the, um, the dick it talks about circumcision i'm talking about all different type of topics that you could think of um desire all types of stuff dick fest was awesome i actually have to go back through the lessons again because i need to go through and really take notes because everything was via um zoom so i was kind of writing and doing other stuff and dick fest was literally three days it was friday saturday and sunday and it started at 12 in the evening and it went to nine o'clock at night. Yeah, like it was just ridiculous amounts of information. It was um, instructors from all over the world. So it wasn't just people from here in the United States. I was able to get knowledge from instructors from all over the world. And it really made me look at circumcision completely differently because the United States, we have the highest circumcision rates. But the thing is, Today, doctors will tell you how it is not medically necessary. But for a long time, doctors were pushing that it was medically necessary for insurance purposes so they could build the insurance and additional service. Um, a lot of people talk about cleanliness and all of this kind of stuff. Even the marketing uh, companies, they only advertise penises that were circumcised to give people this idea that this is what a penis is supposed to look like. Not necessarily um, making you feel like the uncircumcised ones were acceptable. So I talked about all of that, um, the mental impact that when we see a circumcised penis versus a uncircumcised one, how we feel that one that is circumcised is much cleaner than one that is uncircumcised. But uh, there's this group of, uh, this organization or this group called Intact. And Intact is primarily a group of men that wish that they hadn't gotten circumcised. Um, they basically, a lot of them experienced circumcisions gone wrong where too many nerves were removed. And a lot of y'all are dealing with people who actually have circumcisions that went wrong. When you tell me I'm sucking his dick, I'm sucking his dick, I still can't make him come. I'm fucking him, I'm fucking him, and I still can't make him come. And it's like, he can't feel anything. And it's like, uh... The only way he can come is if he do it himself and all of this kind of stuff. A lot of times what those men experience were circumcisions gone wrong. Those are circumcisions where too many nerves were removed. And they have sex and they really not getting a lot out of it because too many nerves were removed. So, um, like I said, I learned a lot this weekend, especially about... Um, how in other countries they worship the dick and it's not necessarily looked at as a sexual way, but they worship it because it represents fertility. Um, so it was just a lot of good information that I will be sharing with you all 
um, over the time. Don't know if you heard about it, but the strip clubs on Bourbon Street giving a thousand dollar sign on bonus because there is a shortage of strippers since the pandemic. Yes. So if you ever wanted to try your luck at stripping, they're giving you a thousand dollars to sign on. Now I don't know the stipulations to it, but let me tell you something. Most times when you go to the strip club, they take money from you, meaning you pay a tip out. They don't give you money for coming. So if that was something you was always thinking about doing, go check out the clubs on Bourbon Street in New Orleans because they got a thousand dollar sign on bonus. Next, I didn't print. I should have printed it out in color, but fuck book, fuck book. Yes, indeed. I said, wives, ladies, we have some important things to discuss. This is an online app that appears to look like Facebook. The app even has a messenger that looks just like Facebook Messenger. So, let me tell you what Fuckbook is. Fuckbook is a site for casual encounters, not for finding partners for life or even dating. Meaning Fuckbook is designed to be for a virtual experience, okay? Um, but the thing is, once you have found somebody that you would like to pursue, messaging is easy and it looks just like Facebook Messenger. The site also has a feature called Icebreaker, which is a sort of automatic messenger that contacts people who meet your preference if you're too shy to reach out manually. It is a sex-focused virtual assistant. I just like to let y'all know that they have all of this stuff out there, that it does exist, because the way we learn is by sharing information. Fuckbook does exist, okay? It looks just like Facebook. It's blue. The messenger looks just like the Facebook messenger. So my job is to make sure that you are aware of everything that goes on in the adult industry. All right. Let's get to these grab bags. So this is actually a waterproof toy bag. Okay. And this toy bag says, go fund yourself. All right. This is the toy bag. It has a zipper. It kind of reminds me of, um, it's like a thick type of material, but um, it's definitely a material, some waste in it, a lubricant waste in it. You don't have to worry about it ruining other stuff. Like if you take this and you throw it in your luggage, you don't have to worry about the contents inside messing up anything. But it is actually designed for you to put your toy in. This is a toy bag, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm stuffing this toy bag for $20. In this toy bag, it's gonna include the honey. It's gonna include the Jolly Rancher fruit roll-ups. And it's gonna include the three different flavors of BJ Blast, okay? All of this will be included in this toy bag, AKA grab bag for $20. I'm gonna have 30 of them online. I'm gonna have 30 of them in the store. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out before today is over with, okay? So, these grab bags are available. This is just something to kind of get your weekend going. Everybody vacationing right now. They looking for like real cute little quick stuff to be able to throw in the bag. Not a whole lot of big bulky stuff. You don't want stuff that weigh a lot. You can throw your bullet up in here. We also have the um, TSA approved bullets that's already um, pre-measured. That can get through TSA. They already have the batteries in them and everything. So, come get your toy bags here at the PPG store. Oh, the pocket pussies are $12.99. I should have had that up here with me. But I was moving so fast this morning. I didn't bring it to up here with me. But, hold on a second. Let me go get the temptation later. And let me go get a pocket pussy. Because I want to show y'all exactly what is in this space. Okay. So, in this basket is a half a woman. And she actually is wearing a body stocking. Okay? That's what's in this basket. A half a woman actually wearing a body stocking. I'm moving this because Facebook likes to flag everything is inappropriate. But I'm doing this for my YouTube. $12.99, we do have the pocket pussy in stock here at the store. These are normally $29.99, but they are still $12.99 on the website as well. So I wanted to make sure that I brought these things up here because 
Like I say, Father's Day is fastly approaching. If you want to buy this by itself and you don't want to buy the basket for $150, this by itself is $90 by itself. So if you just want to get the half a woman, she's $90, okay? And then, of course, we have these, $12.99. This one, he could do vaginal, he could do anal. It vibrates. It has voice control. Like, she is the whole nine yards. She the whole shebang, okay? You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Um, come get these grab bags. And make sure you be on the lookout for fuck book, all right?